Hey everyone, my name is Dr. Sunshine, and welcome back to, believe it or not, Inscription. <laughs> we beat the big bad boss in the cabin last time, and, uh, yeah, now we're here. Looking at some home videos of some guy? <laughs> Kinda weird? I don't know... I don't know where this is going. I guess we'll just check out some videos. God, this is weird. That's it? Wait, what? <laughs> really? <laughs> what? Okay, there's something... Is there nothing else? Okay... Okay, game. Hey there, card gamers! I'm the Lucky Carter, and this is another pack opening video. Today, I am opening Catch Monsters packs and digging for that epic, shiny Transcend Dog! And here I'll add some crazy VFX with lightning bolts or something. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am about to open my first pack. Feeling good about this one. Whoa, what was that? Feeling Wait. real good. There was something going on there. Ooh, what do we got here? Okay, and our first rare is a Birchkin. Not exactly a viable competitive card, but hey, it's a pretty one. Okay, first problem I have with this video, he's not doing a top-down cam. I mean, you gotta show the cards as you're opening them. I mean, what is he doing? All right. Next pack. What's with the pausing? Is that better. the game or is that something weird? I gotta say, these cards are feeling extra silky today. Silky? I mean, they're so smooth. Not sure what they're doing down there at the uh, the card factory, but um, these are feeling good in my hands. That's very okay. weird. Let's see what we got here. Some jank cards. Maybe a few additions to my draft cube. We'll see. And yeah, it keeps stuttering. Our rare for this pack is Bam Dog. Not exactly riveting so far, but we have many packs to go. Next pack, here we come. I'll just cut out this part. Let's hope he's not just opening packs, but this is this is strange. Hey there, card gamers! I'm Here we go Carter, again. This is a vintage pack opening video. Today I'm opening a few super rare old packs I snagged at a garage sale. I've got four packs of Inscription. Oh. You would not believe the deal I got on these. Now, not all of you will even remember this game. I'm barely old enough to have uh, seen these going around in my childhood. Uh, for whatever reason, they only did one set of these cards and then stopped printing them. Uh, there's not a huge market for them anymore, but at the rate I got them for, there's not really much to lose. That being said, a foil mantis god goes for a couple hundred bucks, so <laughs> fingers crossed. I can see why. Really cool art on these. Definitely stands the test of time. And our rare for this pack is Blue Mage. What? Cool looking card. But not going to be worth very much. Look more like a magic card. Right. Not really like the inscription the cards that we've been playing with. Huh. Uh, this pack has been opened. And resealed. Hope no one snuck the rare out of it. This feels very weird. Like, it's hard to believe I'm still playing a game right now. Come on, people. Honestly. Who opens and reseals a pack? There's a set of coordinates on this card. Oh. Looks like they were drawn on with a pen. 49 degrees north, 123 degrees west. Uh, I think... I'd have to check, but I think that's pretty nearby. <laughs> what? Uh, weird. <laughs> okay. 
So maybe, uh, maybe he actually finds the cabin, but it sounded like the voice in the last, or at the end of the last episode was this guy, and it sounded like he was the one playing the game and he beat him. So was it a case that we're playing this guy playing a game of, oh, how many layers is this? Because it feels like we're just going down and down and down, and we're just at the top level looking over everything. All right, you guys. I'm out here living my best life. Got my trusty headlamp and shovel. Always come prepared, kids. There we go. Wonder if he told anyone he was coming out here. Okay. Whew. Getting close. I think. Assuming there is a thing to get close to. This very well may be a massive waste of. Excuse me? What happened there? Oh, I don't like the. I don't like where this is going. <laughs> Some weird Blair Witch stuff. That was- wait. Am I supposed to be seeing something in this? Whoops. No, it doesn't look like it. Put closed caption on. Weird. All right. That's why you always bring an extra battery, boys and girls. Oh, yeah, I'm sure Every lack time. of batteries caused that. You gotta come prepared. <sighs> okay. All right, this is it. Is that a cave in front of him? And now, we dig. Wow, they didn't bury it deep. I give a 75% chance it's a rock. Sounded but hollow. Only one way to find out. What the fuck? Is that? Oh my god, you guys, I can't believe it. There's actually something here. Okay, so, hold on. I mentioned it at the end of the last episode where it sounded like, at the very beginning of the game when you go to the menu, it sounds like this guy is plugging something in. You just hear audio. He's plugging something in, and I guess that's what he plugged in a floppy disk of the game. So we are playing, like, a layer above this guy who's playing this game. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, this is weird. This is weird. Guys, are you seeing this? Yeah, I'm seeing it. I'm, uh, I'm a little confused. Believe me, I'm confused as well. <laughs> you sounded freaked out. Wait. 
Okay, I thought there was something else. He he just peaced out of there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's very true. I mean, you have to get one. It's wow, not. Wow, great video. Yeah, that is not a video. You just you put them together and make a video. You don't ship this. Oh, weird. Weird. Okay, time to figure out what's on this thing. That's wait, no, no. That is exactly what he says at the beginning before the the game starts up. What's on this thing? It's this. You just hear that and then that being plugged in. Oh, weird. Weird. In a way, that would have been cool if the footage there was when I started the game, but it would have been a little awkward, you know, setting up for an intro and stuff, but... <laughs> oh, that is so weird. Okay, wow. I don't know where this is even gonna go now. That's all the videos. So this is how we got to the game, or like what happened before starting the game itself. Wow. Okay, stop browsing. Let's see where this goes. Um. Well, this looks like a big pile of poo. I don't know. I do not celebrate often, and I seldom give gifts. But you, Challenger, you are worthy. Please, do not be polite. Dig in. Um... Well, he said, don't be polite, so I'm just going to refuse. Is there something wrong? Yeah, I don't know what this is. Could be a pile of meat. Could be poop. I don't know. Your prize awaits. You can keep it. Very well. Come with me. God, where is this going? Stand right there. Uh, <laughs> hi. Um, you gonna? Who gave you that? You absolute ingrate! Oh, that it worked. I thought. Um, oh, that's weird. It's the first time we've been able to move around in this room. I thought as soon as he grabbed us, it, I figured it was a time thing and we screwed up. Well, don't you look pretty on a card, you jerk. Why don't we put a name on there, huh? Um, wait, is there more? Can I do more in here? Because obviously there's this. This weird black hole. Okay. Well. You know what? Let's go for it. Because it doesn't look like we can do anything else. Um. Um. What is happening? Wait, uh. Where am I? There's nothing... Is... Is there something here? Just gotta move this until I see a hand. Something to grab. Something to grab? Is there... Is there something here? Okay, is there something I'm missing? 
Because I only see... I only see the candle in the other room. Because this is the, the same room we were in, but now it's just dark. There wasn't a light switch, was there? I keep moving this around to see if there's a handle or something. Okay, I'm kind of stumped. Um, I think I should try going to the main menu and just see. I don't know if it's going to change anything. Oh. A little bit of a glitch. New game. Why would I do a new game? I don't think I... I don't think I do a new game. Oh, jeez. I really don't want to do a new game. It brings me back here. So there's got to be more in here. I might be in here for a while. Hmm. I'm kind of thinking I might need to start a new game. Because that glitched available after a second. This is a big risk. I mean, honestly, I guess I'm not losing too much because I know how to do most of the things in the game. I guess we do that and see if anything changes. Oh, something changed. This is different. Well, that wasn't... I didn't think that would ha... In the beginning, the world did not know cards. What? Is this a different game? That is, until the day the scribes arrived. Wait, is that the... Each had their own method of inscription to create cards. Grimora used her quill to inscribe the epitaphs of the dead. Leshy used his wildlife camera to capture beasts. Oh, so that's Leshy. Makes sense. PO3 used a particle scanner to copy the CPUs of robots. And Magnificus used his brush to paint his wizard pupils. So Magnificus we heard of. With the cards created, the scribes had solidified their power. The computer might be stoked, because he looked like a computer. Until one day, a challenger arrived to replace one of the scribes. Me? <laughs> okay. Okay. Huh. So... Huh. This is a... This is a mixed bag of a game. It's not a card game necessarily. It starts a card game. Starting deck to mark your ambition. Leshy... Computer... Magnific... Magnificus was here. Grimora is like a... Um, Necromancer. Mark your ambition. I don't even know what that means. Let's go with the computer. Your ambition is to replace PO3 and become the scribe of technology? Oh. Replace. Maybe we replace Leshy. Maybe we do that. So I'm wondering if the stink bug is actually Grimora. Magnificus. We've heard of Magnificus, but we haven't seen him. It could be the stunted wolf, but the stunted wolf didn't change too much. I think the stoat might be PO3 because he looked like a computer. And then there's Leshy. Let's go here. 
cards were added to your collection. What cards? Um. Oh. We can actually use. Oh. Stoat, Warren, Adder. Adder's nice. Hawk. Hawk will strike an opponent directly even if there is a creature opposing it. Huh. So it just goes right over. This is weird. This is weird. What is this? Yeah, what is this? This looks like this looks like Super Mario Bros. Um Okay. Hi. Woof. I was just about to call it quits out here. <laughs> but now that there's a challenger in our midst, it's back to work for me. Wait, is this going to be like Pokemon, actually, where you're just challenging everyone that you see? <laughs> I should be able to get this bridge fixed in... Full disclosure, it'll take me exactly as long as it takes you to defeat one of those scribes. <laughs> okay. Well, that's game logic. So, uh, come back later. Well, at least you're honest and didn't say, oh, it's gonna take a while, and yeah. Huh. Um. Huh. Well, this is Leshy's realm, right? Oh. The angler, the prospector, and two equals three? What? Or two does not equal three. It's kind of hard to tell. I think it's two equals three. Which, that doesn't make sense. There's Leshy. Uh, let's talk to the prospector and the angler first. Whoa. You pried the chest open and found a card pack inside. Hey, beastly card pack. Ooh. Energy bot. Uh, provides an energy cell to its owner. Okay, I was used to all the mechanics and I feel like they're now changing most of them. Or maybe just adding a ton. Skele Magnus. Uh, after attacking, Skele Magnus perishes. Also, if Skele Magnus's owner controls no Mox cards, Skele Magnus perishes. Okay. Mole Man as a rare. Looks like a shiny rare. Uh, empty space. I think this is the same. Yeah, this is the same. It's just worded. It's worded a little differently. Elk fawn, yeah. Okay, so they're adding in new stuff. Cards were added to your collection, cool. Dag nabbit. Okay, that's very creepy compared to your mask. That dang hound got herself lost again. <laughs> you think you're getting past? Think again. Not till I get some proof, my girl's all right. Okay, I feel like I've had the text on a lot slower and I think it doesn't need to be. That's a little better. Okay. Uh, so I have to find your hound? I, uh, I'm just rolling with it right now, but I'm still like, we were in a first person card game slash escape room. Then it turned into some weird Blair Witch looking at found footage. But the guy, we're playing the guy playing a game that's changing in front of him. Um, so now it's like an adventure game, but also still a card game. No, no fish, no pass. Well, straight to the point. Let's talk to Leshy, and then, um, 
God, I, I think I'm <laughs> going to need a little bit of time to wrap my head around this. Ah. <sighs> Stop shaking. The only thing you have to fear is your own inadequacy. Okay. That's a little rough. Behold me. I am Leshy, the scribe of beasts. We've met before in a different form. I would consider your ambition to replace me a threat. If it weren't so laughable. It's again, rude? We share a desire for you to challenge me, but first. Um. I know what you're thinking. No, this is not my legendary camera. Not the one I used to create beast cards. This one is a mere replica. You may use it to create photos of the beasts in these woods. My subordinates, the prospector, the angler, and the trapper. They each require a photo before they will consider battling you. Huh. Return to me when they are all defeated. Weird. So this is the room. That's the cabinet. We're, we're gonna check all this stuff out in the next episode. I'm not gonna mess with any more, but... This is the safe. And then there should be stuff on the wall, but we can't see it from this perspective. And then the globe was up here. <laughs> God, what the hell? Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna have to edit out a lot of me stumbling in the dark, but, uh, we're just gonna stop here because I thought I was going crazy in, I guess, the first part of this game, but now I don't know what I'm playing anymore. <laughs> it's so weird, but, God, it is so clever. I love it when a game will just make me sit back and say, what? <laughs> because it's rare to get something that you don't expect. Oh. Okay, well, when we come back, we'll continue in this now adventure game, and I guess spend some time in Leshy's area getting photos before we move on to the next region. So, until next time... Thank you all for stopping by. If you enjoyed what you saw, please be sure to leave a like on the video. Let me know what you thought down in the comments below. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.